Hello everyone. You will know in 5 minutes why we should take apple cider vinegar regularly. The information is very precious and cannot be disregarded. What is apple cider vinegar? Used in food and beauty since the time of ancient Greece, apple cider vinegar is still hugely popular today. These days, apple cider vinegar, often shortened to ACV, is widely used for its health benefits, which are said to include weight loss, better digestion, and boosted immunity. ACV is made from fermented apples with yeast and bacteria that naturally forms during the fermentation process. When the sugars from the apples ferment, acetic acid is created. It's this substance which is thought to hold health benefits. What does science say? Many of these, cure-all, claims are not backed by large and long-term science-based studies, says Christy Wilson, owner of Christy Wilson Nutrition, a registered dietitian in Tucson, Arizona. But despite the lack of research, there is a collection of small studies showing promise with respect to ACV as an alternative therapy to help with blood sugar and triglyceride management. Hear a bit from Dr. M about apple cider vinegar. Comes with apple cider vinegar, and these are probiotics. And as you know, you know instead of buying expensive probiotics, uh, you know you can just use apple cider vinegar on your dressing, uh, on your salad dressing, or you know just drink uh, uh, once or twice a day. That can also help greatly. Now, does it really help with diabetes? Well, the studies show that there are benefits, but it's very mild modest whatever you call it um maybe five percent change in your fasting blood sugars and so forth i mean it may not be necessarily the greatest anti-diabetic help out there but given that there are so many other benefits you know the heart benefits cholesterol benefits the probiotic benefits and actually, I forgot to mention, there is antibacterial and antiviral benefits. So it boosts your immune system. So it helps fight infections as well. So since there are so many other benefits as a diabetic, and you know your immune system is not that great, you know that you're susceptible to infections, you know your cholesterol may not be the best. So I think apple cider vinegar kind of fits a nice space there in your treatment. Now here are four super benefits of apple cider vinegar. Number 1. Have antimicrobial properties. Apple cider vinegar have antibacterial and antifungal properties. This is mostly attributed to its main ingredient, acetic acid. A typical cause of bad breath is Helicobacter pylori bacteria. Bacteria don't grow well in acidic environments, so if you're prone to bad morning breath, gargling a solution of 2 tablespoons, 30 milliliters, of apple cider vinegar and 1 cup, 237 milliliters of warm water may help. Number 2. Lower your blood sugar. Research suggests that consuming apple cider vinegar can slow the emptying of your stomach and hence prevent large spikes in blood sugar. It has also been shown to increase insulin sensitivity, which can lower your blood sugar. Drinking apple cider vinegar before meals or right before bedtime may benefit your blood sugar levels the most. For example, one study in people with type 2 diabetes found that taking 2 tablespoons, 30 milliliters, of apple cider vinegar at bedtime for 2 days reduced fasting blood sugar levels by up to 6%. Number 3. Can ease digestive problems. Many people complain about several digestion-related issues such as heartburn and difficulty in bowel movements. A tablespoon of ACV with warm water before bed can reduce digestive ailments such as irritable bowel syndrome and heartburn. If you don't like the taste of ACV, you can go for ACV pill. Number 4. You might have a good sleep. Sleep is necessary for all age groups. Most people have disturbed sleep during the night. Lack of sleep or disturbed sleep can lead to obesity and mood disturbances. A tablespoon of ACV with hot water and honey before bed can help promote sound sleep. So how do I take it? Because ACV is highly, you guessed it, acidic, don't drink it straight up. Otherwise, you risk severely irritating and damaging your esophagus and stomach. Wilson suggests diluting a small amount, 1 to 2 tablespoons, of ACV in liquid and having it with food, making it into a salad dressing or drizzling it on veggies or meats. How much apple cider vinegar should you take per day? Most of the studies surrounding apple cider vinegar recommend that you don't exceed more than 2 tablespoons of ACV per day. The best way to start taking apple cider vinegar is to start small. Try one half tablespoon at first and slowly work your way up to two. If you want to know how to use apple cider vinegar benefits in gummies, click on the link below. 
It may be a good option for those who have not adapted to the taste of vinegar. Until the next video.